Now, again, please bear in mind that this whole concept is probably very different to how you've been trained and how you've been shown about using a razor and the kind of methods and, and the whole contour of razor cutting. So the thing that I'm trying to get across to you is this is all about the, the overall shape of the haircut. So we are looking to create a uniformed layer, which means the hair is the same length here, 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 all the way round that way, and here, here, here. And then once we get towards the kind of the occipital area, that it will then start to taper down and graduate into a short graduation. Um, so we're gonna work with this, and we're gonna work with it in large areas. And the reason is, it comes back to, if I separate a bit off, and then we work with, for instance, a panel here, and it's separate to this panel, this panel, here or here, I then have to work with this and blend it in each way. And it kind of loses the concept of a razor cut. So we're gonna work in larger areas and we are gonna to look to create a uniformed layer. So this is gonna be this way, all the way round, and all the way around that way. So let me just show you what we have as we stand now. So we've got longer areas in the top, and then you can see the haircut has been cut a little bit squarer. So it comes from here, it goes longer. So this is actually longer because the head is round. So this comes up and then it comes back down again and it's disconnected. So again, we want to connect that all in. So we're just gonna work, we're gonna remove that length in a very free and natural motion. So I think the easiest way to do this is remember we've cut the perimeter so this is roughly about two inches all the way round is the area we've been working with. So from here up and in is now my inside shape. So imagine putting a, a cap on all the way round. This is now the shape that we're gonna be working with. So what I'm looking to do is I'm gonna turn the mod, uh, sorry, tilt the model's head back and we're gonna look to create that soft, uniform layered haircut, which will allow the hair itself to actually have that little bit more movement and we will remove this bulk area around that part too. So if you tilt your head straight back. So we're gonna be using much more of a freehand technique here. So I'm using, rather than me doing this where we hold a section of hair and that's what we would cut. So there's one section, there's two sections, and there's three sections of hair that we're gonna be working with. Kind of like this. And again, you can see there's the first, second, and third. This looks very random but we are actually looking to elevate the hair up. And the difference with razor cutting and uh, shear cutting or scissor cutting is that with razor cutting, we work beneath our fingers. With shear cutting, we work above our fingers. So, okay, are you okay there? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, so I'm working in areas of the head now. There's my first area, second area third area, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. You can do it, one, two, three, one, two, you can do it in any order as long as you make sure that you cut all of the areas. So mentally, in my head, I am just making sure I've done this area. So now I'm gonna move to this one. I've done this one, I'm now gonna move to here. I'm now gonna move to here. Just methodically go through the areas on the head. And we're looking to create this round shape in the haircut. Okay, so straight back. And again, just while we're going through this, this is one of the things where people sometimes have this mistaken uh, concept of cutting hair. And that is that they think everything should be done the way it is when we are trained initially from our basic techniques. But if you do the basic techniques, you won't get this type of effect. And the reason for that is because it's too regimented and it's too structured. So this is much more advanced, much more freehand. And as I say, it still 
comes from the basics. So we're looking to create a basic uniformed layer, but it's just done in a very slightly more freehand action. So we're working with hair much more loosely. And again, think about the concept of that. If we're working with hair where we elevate it and it's perfectly combed and everything is straight from the head and then we put a line in, we're gonna have that line there at the end. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for everything to be much softer. But I want this variation from the shortest part to the longest part, roughly about an inch. An inch, maybe an inch and a half at most. Anything longer than that, and the hair is too long and it's almost been missed. Anything shorter than that, you're taking it a little bit short. So, so if you imagine that our, our length here is gonna be three inches long, anything from two and a half to three and a half is perfect through there. And that's what gives us the concept of a razor cut and giving us this messiness and the texture. So overall, it's quite a simple structured haircut that we're actually doing. It just looks as though it's really quite um, random. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through this and then we will elevate the hair out from the head and let you see what I mean about the shape that we're looking to create. So here, what I'm, I'm looking and I'm doing this. So I'm looking if there's any little bits of hair that we've missed and you can see we've taken off roughly approximately about an inch or so on the hair. That's the sort of length that we're removing. So I'm going through and I'm just making sure that everything is, is kind of the rough same sort of length. And again, it's just roughly. So look at this area here now. So as we start to come down, can you see from the side area, this part here? So you can see we start to come down and then it's almost like we've got bulk in there. This is the sort of thing where the razor actually is perfect for. So if we elevate this out, look at the difference. Look, see the difference here? Look at what it is, much darker, much denser. We haven't cut this yet. This was cut on the last haircut. You can see the ends are a lot sharper. Whereas when we go to this part that we've cut, you can see it's a lot shorter, and sorry, a lot softer. This is the beauty of a razor cut. So now let's go back and look at this area here. Let's lift this out. And we're gonna, we're gonna soften down. So look at the motion that I'm using with my hands, coming down into that area, the nape area of the neck. And this, the part of the head that we're working on, we, are, we comb the hair and allow the hair to do what it wants. You can slowly start to see that we're starting to put texture and we're starting to put uh, movement into the hair. Now, there is another method in which we can do this, um, but this is a little bit more advanced and it's also a little bit more difficult and it kind of can be quite scary for people. So it's a fantastic method for working in a way in which we want to soften the hair. So if I show you through here, so look at the concept that we've still got. So we're a little bit narrower, a bit more tapered in there, but this bit here. So can you see that that's still quite bulky? So think about what would happen if I took this razor and we started, so we again put it in 90 degrees to the hair shaft. So the hair shaft, it's always got to be, whatever angle the hair is, it's got to be at 90 degrees. The more we open, the more hair we will remove. Once we go less than 90 degrees, we won't take anything off. So, so you can see this thicker, bulbous, rounded area in there. Watch what happens, and again, think about this logically. If we put the blade onto this part of the hair and we start combing down, the hair that is longest, therefore further out from the head and most round, is the hair that we are gonna connect initially with the blade. So that is gonna be the first part of the hair that's removed. Then the next bit, which is the bit underneath, again, the same thing will happen. And we will just slowly but surely work our way into the hair. And what this is doing is it's changing it from being this sort of rounded shape to being a little bit more narrower. And again, a little bit more in the right sort of short graduation shape that we're looking for.